So, <laughs> so um, we've got a bit of a one-off video. Well, we say one-off, I'm guessing it's the first one we've done of this type, but we're going to be doing more in future as they come. Um, this is something I'm very excited about. Yep, we've got a box, we're going to open it. Hence the term, unboxing. Yeah. Uh, you might, if you've seen our Guild Hall videos, most anticipated games of this year, this was my one. You boot. This is my most anticipated game. I had the luxury of playing it with the developers, with the designers, at the UK Games Expo 2018, and it blew me away. Literally, like it absolutely blew me away. I thought it was a fantastic game. I know a lot of people out there are very much, um, or there's, there's a sizable amount of the community who are like very anti-app. Hmm. For me, I, I'm all with technology. You know, I think if you can use it to make something interesting. Why not? And you, boot, I felt you used the app amazingly. It didn't take anything away from the game. It just added to the game, and you couldn't have a game like this without the app. No, exactly. And it, and it like as I mentioned in the anticipated ones, what I really like are board games that are experiences that you can only experience through the medium of board games. And I think you yeah. is absolutely one of those. Absolutely, just really with the, the the mix of physical like manipulation along with you've got your own stuff that you're managing yeah. along with the app. You know, absolutely, it all ties together. To like, I, th I think there's an increase in board games that I describe as experiences more than board games. And yeah, absolutely. This is probably one of them. I, you know what? I couldn't agree I never thought of it like that, but you're totally right. You couldn't get experience from a film because when you're watching a film, you are not taking part in it. You're watching, it can be a great experience, but it's not the same. Same with video games, you might be physically doing it, but it's often a solo experience, or even if you play multiplayer, it's not it's not quite there. Yeah. A book, again, you know, you're experiencing by reading it with this, because you're doing it in teams of up to four, the app is pushing you so it's you to make choices on the fly, it's real time. As a group, it expects you to make mistakes. Yeah. Because it is that press for time, you know, and when you make mistakes, you know, the men you're responsible for, the characters you're responsible for are gonna suffer. And then it, it was just, it was, again, you're right, that idea of an experience more so than a game, it definitely applies here because it was an experience. One that stayed with me and we played maybe 30 minutes of it. Um, it was absolutely phenomenal, which is why I'm so excited for it. And Should I'm so happy it's arrived. Should we get it open? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, right. First thing I noticed about this, there is absolutely no mistaking what is in this box. <laughs> yeah. It's got it on all the full four sides. Yeah. And it's got this huge waste of ink on the front. <laughs> like, it's it's pretty much it's hard to make out the details. It's just it's just the print of the board game cover in black on the front. You know what? I, I like it. I think it's I like so it, like old it's, school military. But it's such a waste of ink. Like Maybe I like it, man. I think it looks like it's so bad the printing that I like it. Yeah. Like, it's so it's all like corrugated cardboard as well, so like there's just lines going across it. Yeah. From the scan lines on the printer. Yeah, it's yeah. It's <laughs> so Dan, I love it. in the words of it's seven, what's in the box? Inside the box we have <gasps> some post I read. Okay, well I'm sold already. Oh yeah, I, uh, okay. <laughs> we got some more polit uh, Okay, yeah. That's like a phone probably. Uh so Hey Dan, was that an eco friendly leather map? It is. It's an eco leather gaming mat. An like eco leather a, a mat for the game, mat. I believe. A mat for the game. Uh, uh, Giants is... playing mat eco leather. I believe this is part of Kickstarter only stuff. Was it? Uh, or yes. An yes, it was. It, I believe it was an add-on. Yes. Yeah. So at the expo, this is what they had. It was quite cool because um, there's also an increase in games now that are using mats overboard. So mm. um, the new Game of Thrones um, expansion released a mat. Uh, you know things like Rising Sun released a mat. Blood Rage has done a mat. I think it's that. You know, it lays out, it's just nice quality, the artwork can be great, there's no folds or dents, it's yeah. definitely increasing max. There's definitely a, a lot of people using neoprene. Yeah. Uh, I don't know much about it. It sticks as well. Like. Mm. Uh, this is also uh, not a toy, uh, not suitable for children under three years, danger of suffocation. Yes. So, um, be very careful. Don't let your children <laughs> suffocate from the mat. Well, oh, is... So we have a beautiful leather yeah, that is... gaming mat. Wow, that is nice. That actually feels pretty nice. Um, it feels quite leathery. So to, if you, I mean, it's, I'm not sure how much guy you guys can see here. Can really see a bit, but the quality is pretty good. Like the artwork is pretty, pretty damn detailed, of the U boot, mm. with the different stations. Uh, so you can play on both sides. You can have two players either side, I'm guessing. And, you know, uh, one, one, two, three, four. So you can close everything you need to see. Um, just yeah, pretty. I mean, it's a map. I mean, it looks nice. It's a map. It looks nice. It is a map. Seal of approval. Seal of approval. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'd have to roll it a few times so it's ending bit. Okay. Uh, it does slide a little bit. That's the only thing. Yeah. But not too bad. Like, you'd have to really force it. But, yeah. 
Yes, I'll be mad. Uh, and I feel like once you've got some, like something on it, that's true. Probably With a bit of weight. weight down, yeah. yeah, it's not bad by using it. I I definitely see approval. I like that. Yeah. If I was buying this now, I I try to get this. I would want this. I think there was a choice. It, it, there was definitely a Kickstarter where I had a choice between eco leather or neoprene. Yeah. It might have been this one. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, the All In Resin Pack. So Dan goes all in on these kind of games. Yeah, you have to. I'm very lucky that I get to play them from his money. <laughs> <laughs> so, inside this box we have some Deluxe Creed Marine plotting tools. Deluxe plotting tools. Now, not having played the game, I don't really know how to, like, ah. how to use navigation tools. So I did use these. Okay. These I used, so they must have had, now think about it, they must have had the Kickstarter, you know, All In Pack. Ah, so, was it, were they, those the... These are the premium ones that you used. These are the ones I used. Because that was a UKG, so I can, yeah, I can imagine them bringing the best stuff to get a good impression. Yeah, absolutely. So these ones I had. Um, so as plotting suggests, you plot on the map. And, you know, um, your bearing and the distance all equate, and you use it with the app, and you tell your... So when I was a navigator, I was telling the captain, you know, it's this bearing, this distance, and using that to work out. And then he was saying to me, well, should we fire? Should we not? How far are we? He was, I, the information I was providing him was allowing him to make the decisions for to attack or back off, etc., etc., and also telling the engineer and you know we need to go and make sure we are actually going the right way and not into danger or you know oh yeah. there's a destroyer yeah we're going the right way don't worry and then you put it into the <laughs> app and the app's like no actually you're even closer you're going to die I'm sure it's fine it even comes with a pencil that's nice that I do that's, like that that's very important in a uh... it's I'm a stick on this kind of thing do you know when, as a kid you got those games like batteries not included yeah I used to hate that. It's like, why? <laughs> why, for the sake of a few quid, just give the person everything you need in the box. And exactly. it's a small thing, but I like it. Uh, so we've got some uh, cool some resin packs, supply tokens, uh, environmental resin Hazards, packs. I think. Yes, it looks like there's some fire in here. It looks like there's some... Ah, uh, right, so you've got your oil drum, you've some got lights. your light. So this is the stuff in the game. Um, so you can hold it up. It's quite nice, quite chunky. That, you know, like the lights are out, you place that token there, so like a fire extinguisher kind of thing. Hmm. Let's bring that a bit closer. So, I mean, it's quite nice. I mean, it's expected what you expect. It's, you know, it's um, various things, wire. So, if I remember correctly, these are items that you need to bring to different parts of the ship to be able to do actions. Right, okay. So, like, you know, you, need, you might need wire to do this thing, so you've got to bring one of your, on order, you give to one of your men is right. Okay, I'm doing that order. He's bringing that to there. Right, we can now add the emergency lights in. Oh my god! So I guess you know exactly where these are by using the tokens. It'll be interesting when we get the actual game opened up to see what they what the, the defaults is. Yeah, the default yeah. stuff is. Did you have these at uh, UKG as well? We did. Yes, these we had these. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. So we got uh, interior resin pack. Yeah, we didn't have this. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely luxury oh, stuff. This is this is just like this looks more like a train. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm I, not I sure. Think, I'm guessing it's a decoration? Yeah, it looks just like scenery for a um, submarine. Yeah, I think so. We'll see, I guess, when we get to the I whole. Mean, the printing cloth is pretty nice. Bring that closer again. So, I mean, I've got no doubt you'll see some of these painted up amazingly. Because <laughs> you could, like, as someone who paints minis, oh, yeah. with this stuff, like, you could go all out on the industrial theme here and make this really pop, really nice. Oh yeah, totally. Like, you know, some of the stuff you see is, is incredible and this is nice and chunky, lots of detail. Lots and lots of detail on these. And what's in the last one? Well, um, the, uh, these are so, we've got, f I'm guessing that's fire. That looks like fire, it, it's red. Oh man, this is cool. So this is, I'm guessing this is like poisonous gas, cause You've got a skull inside the flames. Oh, wow. So yeah, that's beautiful. That's pretty sick. That is pretty cool. Uh, ah, you know what you're saying about the lights? There's your broken light. Ah, so you got to fix light the broken light. Yeah, like, ah, and okay. in, so in darkness, you're more likely to hurt yourself because literally you imagine it underwater, you know, sorry, in the submarine, it's dark. Yeah. So you can see, like, the bro broken light and the emergency light. Sorry, I'm totally covering you here, though. <laughs> that's fine. Which is pretty cool. So that what is it? It's a, it? Triangles? Power, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a lightning symbol. Yeah. Of course. Uh, I think that's some kind of leak. Uh, so we've got gas, fire, power, broken lights, uh, or darkness. It looks like a hole breach, like water's coming in. Yeah, possibly. Like a metal plate. It's not as clear, but no, yeah. No, definitely uh, not. 
I'm sure if it were painted up, it would but look uh, <laughs> yeah. look like what it's meant to be. I mean, and what I do like, one thing I like what they've done here, and it's something Games Workshop started doing recently, which is amazing, is that printing tokens in different color plastic. Yeah. So that you can see with the color as well as the symbols. So one, if you're colorblind, it's just easy to look at the you know you can see the symbols. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not like okay, well, oh, because it you know at one point it was all gray plastic was the same in a lot of games and you had to look for certain things like yeah. hey, what's that especially those two which are like the gas and the fire yeah, yeah I, was about, I was about to say the, those two from from the back they, they just both look the same you know and if you're in a real time game you, you know you don't want to be going oh man, I can't believe that changed the whole game especially if you're playing the campaign yeah. but the fact that you've got a red one and a green one that's nice so it's very clear what it is and you've got three of each of those as well of these hazards cool uh, I'm not sure what this is what is that? Seems like a load of crests, flags, icons. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's different. They're not. They immediately make you think of the stickers, but they're, they're not. not. So what this looks like, it might be to me, is some kind of unit symbols. Possibly. Like military unit symbols. That's the only thing that jumps out at me. Because, but it I is really never know. It's definitely unlabeled, not... and it will go down as a mystery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that is some kind of military unit symbols, like the, that's one of the old crests. But, I mean, I'm just guessing there, I don't know. It looks like the kind of thing you see on the tanks and the pack on patches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got like, so just an idea for those of you can't see, it, well, I would show it, but you can't really make it out. You've got like an iron cross, you've got like a halberd, you've got an eagle, you've got playing cards. If you just think of like World War II kind of patches or like what you'd see on tanks, like people painted on, that's what that looks like to me. Yeah. But no idea what they actually are. Okay. So it's not a Maybe we will find out the answer to that mystery. But for now, it's time to get out the main box itself. Actual box itself. The actual U boot. A real time after it was tabletop submarine simulator. It is. It is a submarine simulator. <laughs> for anyone who's played Captain Sonar, I mean, I love Captain Sonar. I think Captain Sonar is a great game. You know, it needs eight people. It's real time. 4v4 is brilliant. This gives that same feel of pressure, but with far greater detail. They're different games, you know. One's a much bigger game you play versus two, you know, two teams. But this is, this was something else. This was like you said, an experience. Uh, caution: This is not a toy. Uh, danger of being swallowed. I mean, yeah, you definitely can swallow that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Please don't suffocate either. Man. <laughs> I thought that was a dangerous joke to make. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could have died yeah. for the sake of entertainment. There's definitely bits in here though that you can spot. Oh man, game, so it, it is it is just a box of goodies. It's amazing. Put that to one side. <laughs> oh my, it's got There's that no... new game smell, which is it has got that new game. There's no like um, insert insert or anything like that. It's just it's just a box of Scuff. goodies. It is just <laughs> the reason I think there's no insert is because the U boot is 3D. Yeah. And when you build it, that's going to give a lot of space. Yeah, that makes sense. So we've got a tactical guide. A tactical guide, I'm guessing that's the rules. Nope, we've got a rule book. Okay, <laughs> so you've got an actual... Oh, man. So this is an actual... Like a walkthrough? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? It's, uh, it's what to do. Like, there are ways to detect. This is actually oh, tips. This is like a tip, a tip book. book. How to play. So you've got the rules, how to play. Oh, man, yeah. It's like a walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, it actually is. Now, I would say to anyone... Don't be too put off by the fact it's got a rule book and a walkthrough. Because a lot of gamers now are doing that whole learn to yeah, play, learn to play and stuff. reference. Fancy Flight's good at that usually. And, the whole, and it's an amazing system. If you want yeah. to play the game, play that. You know, you want to get some, you need to look at something here or that. Also, is that when we played it, I mean, we looked at the expo and there's like, a, there were several videos which are like two minutes each, one for each role. Mm. Um, and at first That's it was a bit good. like, oh man, this is intense, like there's so much to do. But again, once you've got it, the individual roles weren't too complex. They certainly weren't light, they just weren't complex. Yeah. It was just, you know, you had a lot of things to do. They were relatively simple in their actions, but with a lot of tactical depth. Mm. And the tactics in this game was incredible. I mean, like, it is really what do you want to do and go for it. If you're kind of the kind of person who has AP or, you know, really struggles with that or struggles at real time, this game probably isn't going to be for you. It was very... You know, very much real time, on the fly decisions, and you have to be able to calculate a lot of things very quickly, and it's not going to be the optimal outcome. The no. game expects you to make mistakes. 
I'm very glad we have your like first hand experience here. Because like, <laughs> otherwise I don't know what I'd say about it. Um so we've got a bundle of stuff. We've got a map. Yeah. So this is the map the navigator uses. Oh, it's a wait, okay, there's a number of maps. So that'll be for different missions. So what so the game includes a campaign that I think takes course across the war. So I'm guessing different numbers and different maps will be different areas. Different I think they're times. I think they're all the same. Maybe uh, all just, same. just the same region. So it's different games then. Yeah, same region, yeah. different games. So it's got a map of Western Europe uh, around the UK uh, with different boxes, and I know that different boxes determine how dangerous areas are because um, the app does randomly generate it. So you know when you're in Germany, you're much more likely to see friendly ships. The closer you get to the UK, enemy ships. Um, for those who don't know, this game is played from the German perspective of World War Two. So you do play as a German submarine. Hmm. The designs are German. I personally like that. I, I love, well, I'm very interested in history in World War One, World War II. I've studied it for many years. I think it's part of the reason why I love this theme. And you very rarely see stories from the German perspective. And we mentioned this in our video about most anticipated games as quickly, because some people will be put off by this. What the Nazis did was absolutely atrocious, absolutely evil, and I'm not going to get into that. No. But the vast majority of people on the front line were just normal boys, basically. 18, 19, normal young men who yeah. had just been called to fight. There's a great scene in Band of Brothers, episode one, when a lot of native Germans were in America, and there's a lot of Americans, and, or not a lot, but there's definitely Americans who went to Germany to fight because their parents were German. So, just want to put that out there. For those who are put off by the idea of playing for the Nazis, put that in a box to one side because that's not what this game is about. You're just fighting a war game. It happens to be from the German perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think there's a tendency to demonise and polarise. Yes. And, like, yeah, it, it's it's just seeing it from from that point of view, I guess. Yeah. That the, the guys in your rep and here are just normal men and men and well, not women, unfortunately, you know, because obviously men only fought in this war, but, you know, it's, it's just normal men. It's just normal young men. It's like Secret Hitler got a lot of backlash. You know, for the idea that some people said, oh, you know, you played mm -hmm. Hitler and you're trying to get him in power. I feel those people are missing the point of the game. Yeah. The whole point of Secret Hitler, you know, is the insidious rise of fascism and how people can be forced into making bad decisions. Yeah. This game is just a war game. Don't let the theme put you off because it's an awesome game. Uh, we have some, uh, like, code sheets, identification sheets. I love this stuff. This is very fluffy. Yeah. This is very, like, in the. Uh... Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, so we've got all the different chips. Uh, oh wow, so you'll no doubt see these on the app, I'm guessing. These and you'll, probably, and you'll probably have to identify them. Yeah, it's, it's an identification sheet oh, wow. for all the different merchant vessels, all the escort vessels, all the coastal vessels. Yeah, and you're going to have to make vessels. calls on that. Yeah, you got a captain's log as well that you can fill in. Uh, then I guess we'll be part of. And one thing I will say campaign. is like the paper quality in this is is, is quality. Yeah. Like this, if they have not stimmed, like this is not a thin paper, this is properly like solid, good quality paper. And yeah. the artwork in the book is awesome, like the artwork printing is gorgeous. I love the Enigma code sheet as well, like it's proper, like it's, it's, it, it really makes you feel like it's these papers that you'd have, right? Yeah. If you're in that situation, like it's so immersive almost. Absolutely. Even, even, I mean, when I, when I played it, I've never played anything like it, which is why I keep banging on how excited I am for it. Uh, I have been chewing these guys' ear off, uh, Dan and Lewis, for weeks, oh, yeah, totally. months and since I played it, going, oh my god, what a game, can't wait for you, can't wait for it to arrive, can't wait for it to arrive. Yeah, definitely. So we've got uh, boards for each role, the captain, the first officer, navigator, and the chief engineer. So the four roles you take. Yep, I guess that that's like, is that an explanation of how the role works? Yeah, I think how the setup is as well, and what your items are, so what you need. Yeah. How how to play this? How to play this class? What you need to know? Always remember to do this. Uh, always remember to do this. Yeah. In case of a hull breach. Yeah. <laughs> Panic. Absolutely. <laughs> That's all I'd say. This is good quality card stuff as well. Yeah. Oh, and it tells you yeah your orders, what you can do, how to attack the captain, for example. It's got a breakdown of the app, so what you'll see where um, you see like, different check boxes. It's quite nice. It really is, it's just beautiful stuff. And I'm just gonna pull some more stuff out of the box of mysteries. Um, I guess these are crew members. Ah, uh, so yeah, what's this? So each role gets these. And this is, okay, oh, this is awesome. So when we had this at the expo, like, um, how this has got different artwork. 
at the expo, it just had every guy doing this. <laughs> Whereas now they've actually got like artwork of people. Um, like the mechanic is looking quite sweaty, <laughs> and like with a vest on. The captain's got a nice moustache and a cap. Um, so what this is, uh, you have this in front of you, and different roles have different are responsible. So I'm guessing this is chief engineer because it's got chief engineer on it. Ah uh, yes. So the bases, the symbols. So we've got like squares, triangles, circles. Oh my god, I've forgotten what that symbol is. What shape is that? It's a pentagon. Oh my god, a pentagon. It's been many years and I love math. <laughs> it's a pentagon. <laughs> um, so each each of your figures which you place in the U have different base symbols, which is the relates to which character they are. Okay. And different colours of it. So for example, if I was chief engineer, I would have brown men and the brown base is relates to which guy is which. Oh, um, yeah. So you have four out of time. And then on the changing of the watch, which is also a very good Bob Dylan song. Or the training of the guard. <laughs> <laughs> you flip it over. Oh, okay. You flip it over. And that tells you, and different people do have different stats. So, um, for example, the chief engineer here has got these two symbols. He's got like an eight. So they've all got a mechanic symbol. So all of these are engineers. But they also have other abilities, which I don't yet know. I didn't play this one. On the flip side, they're all engineers, but these guys have also got different abilities. So really cool. you've got a senior engineer and a chief engineer. So when the senior, chief engineer is sleeping, the senior takes over, but he does have a different ability. Yeah, we've got one for the navigator, one for the captain, one for the first officer, yeah. so yeah. Those, these feel really good quality as well. Like yeah, that's, that's proper thick, that's proper thick. This is not terrible in Mars. No, this is definitely Again, not terrible both love, but this is not terrible in Mars quality. <laughs> this is far, this is pro. This is what I call Kickstarter quality. Mm. A lot of Kickstarters do have that thing. I think of making great quality items with not necessarily the greatest game. Um, this, no, this is good quality stuff, what you've got here. Okay, uh, let's pick some more stuff out. So we've got a bunch of cards. My favourite role so far I've seen is Torpedo Man. <laughs> that sounds like a really weird superhero. Yeah, that, is the, that is the greatest superpower. <laughs> uh, I've got some, like, oh, nasty all, cards. All the cards. We've got Beer. Well, that's a good card. Then. Increases morale by three. Does that have any negative effects? And then each player activates two of their sailors. That sounds like good things. Yeah. Some of these are definitely not good things. <laughs> we have a gun on the back of them. I'm guessing that's an item deck, like a Wolfer. Yep. Famous German Pango. We have a bag. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. And another pencil. Nice. <laughs> nice. You can never have enough pencils. No, it's also, is it labelled? No, this one's labelled. Ah. Um, so in that bag, nice. you put in the different troopers, I, if I think. And when you have to draw randomly, you draw from the bag. So, okay. like, say someone's hurt, you draw from the bag. Classic drag bag drawing mechanic. Yeah. Krieg's Marine, I wonder what that means. I guess a, is it a brand or...? Krieg's Marine, no, Krieg's German, it's obviously Marine Soldier, so Krieg, Blitzkrieg was Lightning uh, War, I think like War Marine, or Soldier? Because Blitzkrieg was Lightning War, so Krieg is something to do with war. Yeah. I'm sure if you know, please comment, that makes sense. comment in the comments. Comment in the comments. The, the, <laughs> these cards don't seem quite as good, because this one's got Mutiny on the bottom. Oh, it depends, read it. Uh, draw crew tokens until you draw a different colour than white. The player whose colour has been drawn must switch roles with the captain. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so the like white, po white player, uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> the captain and the other guy have to swap roles. I mean, that can be bad in the middle of a thing. You're like, I don't know yeah, how to play yeah, yeah. this role. Can that I don't know what I'm doing. Can that happen, like, in the middle of, like, in the middle of combat? Just, I think you like, draw suddenly, me. I'm the captain. What? Oh, I think you draw from how high I'm in Morales, <laughs> which is That's nice. Amazing. But, yeah, mutiny, that is cool. Okay, uh, we've got some minis uh, and some ah, so these, these are your dudes. These are these your dudes. dudes. Your these, dudes. Are, these are your boys. Your dudes on a map. Your boys. Uh, I'm just going to have to uh, get into this real quick. Uh, that is the navigator's tools to clip everything together. Oh, baggies. Yes. Oh, I love that more games are doing this. More games are including baggies. It is good to come with baggies. Uh, so, we've got... Those? Those are like small ships? I guess you can put those on the map. Yeah, so the navigator has a little map which they use to determine distance. So like if they can visually, it was actually really useful. I'm sitting there going, right, so that's five there. Like, you know, we're coming at it from this angle. And you move on the map these little tiny ship tokens you've got. Um, very tiny, as you can see. Yeah, very tiny. Um, but you have these I mean, it's a, map. It's, a, it's a Full scale map, I guess. So. It is literally, yeah. And what you would do is you'd place it in the map to determine your bearing to allow you to have a visual representation of where you're going. Um, so that with the amount of information going on, you need that. You need to have something you could just leave and go, right, that's what that is. Now I'm going to adjust this slightly yeah. and work between the two. If you're all up here, you will make mistakes. So that's quite cool. 
again, this is nice. When we when we played it, it had just red wooden blocks. Okay. So this is quite cool. That's it. Like red. Like everything seems really well like. Yeah. Um, sculpted. Yeah, definitely. It's not like some cheap like. I'm gonna have a go here. Conan did this. Conan had some great minis, but it was weird. Half their minis were awful quality, and these aren't minis, but they are well sculpted. And the you've got clearly different ship types here. Yeah. Which is nice. It, lo it looks very battleships. Yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah, it does really. It's like battleships, man. Uh, we've got some um, soldiers doing salutes. That's like player token, I think, or something. I don't know what that is. Okay. I have no idea. Well, that is not your men. Whatever they are, there's two of them. <laughs> And then the next one I can only describe as radio equipment. So that goes on the U-boot. Ah, so this launch. is literally just part of the U-boot. This is scenery. Okay, a bit more scenery that we can add to the to the other yeah. bits of scenery. So you've got, got your Daka Daka guns. we got a, another Daka Daka gun there. I don't know, whatever that is. It's a gun. We never, we never got to use these in the expo. Ah. So at the time of, the, of playing at the expo, they hadn't yet released the airstrikes. Where as you surface, planes will attack you, and one player uses the app on the gun and starts shooting like, start shooting planes as well, which is quite cool. And they said they do it, and they have. And here we have your boys. Your boys. So yeah, I can see the different uh, different shaped bases. Yeah. So if we so take triangle, two of them, circle, square. So let's um, try and do this so the camera can see. So you got like you know your blue is one player, brown is another with different shape bases. Should be four of each. Yeah. Um, the sculpts in these are a little strange. Yeah, they come for very um. Like it's it's a, it's yeah it's just odd. Like that guy's saluting. That's cool. These definitely aren't good quality. They're they're fine. They're tokens, but if you're expecting like minis to paint, you're not really gonna be able to do it with these. No. These are definitely more. You look at the base. You look at the color. I mean, what is this guy doing? This guy's doing this. <laughs> it's like he's dancing. I'm not sure what this is like. He's, yeah. He's, he's definitely boogieing. So, but yeah. I, if you're looking for minis, these aren't it. These are tokens. No. These are plastic tokens and so not minis. They look like they'd be quite brittle as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's quite... He yeah. like, that, that leg's a weak point for him. Like, just yeah, tap yeah, it out and feel it. Some of them, I think the circle one was only on one leg as well. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one leg guy is, is seriously weak. Which is strange, but look at those are two legs. Yeah. But even that leg, I mean, I'm just gently touching this now, and there's a lot of give. Yeah. So, kind of surprising with that one, compared to the rest of it. It's yeah. not bad. I mean, I guess you have to be a little bit more careful. Oh, well. Uh, what else do we have here? Is this... I mean, to be fair, you would have to go out of your way to break it, but I feel like overplay, or if in the heat of the moment you grabbed it, and it, you know, yeah. it would definitely, yeah. Especially a game where, you know, you're going to panic, right? Yeah. And you to, yeah. So we've got what looks like an Enigma machine. Oh, wow. No idea what that is. <laughs> Just a big board with a lot of circles on it. A so lot a, lot of of, a lot of places for some kind of markers. You see, I love this background artwork. Yeah. Like, again, immersive. This thing is very immersive. There is no wasted space anywhere. No. You know, even just like these stamps, like they didn't have to do that, but it just, it's immersive. Everything feels very... Oh, I imagine, oh, I imagine these are like the uh, player areas for each class, because we've got a couple more. Yeah, you're probably right. So we've got another one there that's probably like the engine mechanic. Engineering, yeah. We've got like a speedometer and like... So this is probably the captain. Achtung! Astern! Yeah. Full speed ahead. <laughs> yeah. We've got like a blueprint for the... Yeah, uh, that's the engineer's one. Oh, I yeah. think you put your men on here as well, like your symbol, something like that. Ah, okay. Yeah, these are your player boards. So that's that the sense. engineer. I think this is the captain. It's got coffee. So it'll be the captain. This seems more like the captain. He's got the captain's hat on it. Okay, this is probably not in the radio <laughs> guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably the radio guy. Maybe it's the engineering engine, right? So it's got yeah. the uh, Com communication. Com 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 yeah. yeah, that's definitely captain. That's definitely the captain. He's got coffee. Got, he's, got, got, he's got alcohol. We've got alcohol, medals, guns, guns. and the captain hat. Nice stopwatch. Uh, oh, player. you've got a you've got record player. Yeah. That's nice. The captain's hat, definitely. <laughs> Again, very immersive. Ah, yeah. uh, there's your morale. That's it. That's your morale. Oh, that's the morale. Hence the red gets like warning, warning, warning. Is that Comic Sans? Uh, maybe not. No, it's like, like, like a typewriter. Uh, that's typewriter. Okay, it it's not Comic Sans. 
Uh, and then the last one, yeah, which I guess would be the navigator. This is the it's one. got a grid on it. Yeah, so this it's got is the one I use. Map, grid. Uh, it's got a chopping board. That is your food to the navigator. <laughs> I love this. It's responsible for food. And you can get scurvy. If you don't give your guys a quality meal and you need you have different ingredients which again you draw the ingredients from a year little pile which are face down mm. you have some that you have ready and it's got a chart where you mix and match it might like do like eggs and bread is scrambled eggs yeah and they like that and you might put some lemon on that because the germans specifically so the reason the english are called limeys is um, back in the days of sale history lesson time history lesson um scurvy was a real thing you know biscuits meat and then no fruit meant that Basically, you'd get scurvy, you know, you'd just horrible disease. So the English realised, not knowing why, that if they took limes, they wouldn't get it. Hence the limey, so the, all the British sailors took limes. The Germans used lemons, they told me. So the British use limes, Germans use lemons. So you beat your products, you make your food, keep them happy. And this is your map using those little ships. So here's your grid. So there's your food. You've got your grid where you put your ships. And each one, so that you've got like, okay, five squares and like five miles, that kind of thing. Very cool. We got some uh, navigation tools. Navigation tools. Yeah. So these, are they set different from the Kriegsmarine ones? Uh, no. So the, yes, the Kriegsmarine ones. Because we've got those as well. Ah. So the Kriegsmarine ones. What they do? So you got oh, so it's wood versus cardboard. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, and there's the ones we played at the expo. The ships. Ah, okay. And so, the torpedoes. Ah, so those are those. Are the, that's the uh, normal version of the. Yeah. So this is the non Kickstarter stuff now. And um, so what these do? This is these all three go like that. And this is where it gets crazy good. Like, it's so immersive. <laughs> and this looks horrifying. But you go like, hey, we're on this course. There's our firing angle. You then change the contact to see where they are. You know, you go behind them, what angle. And you're bearing on the outside. And you relay this information to the other players who will make decisions based on that. That is very cool. Yeah, oh man. Like, when I got this, I was a little bit terrified. I was like, this looks horrifying. And I got so into it. I was like, hey, yeah, okay, we're on. Our course is 310. We have a contact course of... 20 degrees and our bearing is 60 degrees okay we need to change that we need to go full speed ahead we're going to okay yeah okay we're ready to fire broadside firing angle it's awesome and i guess the kind of thing where if you get it wrong the app will like fuck you basically <laughs> yeah like the ideal thing is that you want to hit him like a t right because yeah. that's the wide your firing angle versus their widest yeah, yeah you know and if they turn and start getting like their broadside at the same time they've got their broadsides so oh it's just awesome it was just awesome it was so good Kind of play it. Yeah, absolutely. So navigate his tools. Uh, so yeah, all the normal Kickstarter stuff. I, I guess rather than the minis, you just get these little um, little tokens. Uh, no, I think. Oh, that's that, So the, these guys come at the game. Those okay. go on your boards, I think, to show who's out, who's where. Ah, uh, okay. I think. Or they might be the one you draw from the bag. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've got all the ships there. We've got the cardboard version of the Kree's Marine stuff. We got like what are they med kits? Yeah. Cool. Oh no. So they must go in the bag. So I think these are the ones. Like these are what go in your board for who's active, who isn't. Okay. So just men saluting. So loads and loads of pin punch boards, which is gonna make me very happy bagging all this stuff. So the card versus the Kickstarter is exactly the same. Honestly, like I don't see a huge difference. I mean that's nice and wooden, but I mean it depends how much this was. But yeah. if you have not it started, and it's definitely not not necessary. Yeah, don't worry. Like that is perfectly adequate. That is chunky, chunky cardstock. Like that is not a lot of difference at all. Does it like punch out as well? The uh, yeah, the so it's pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, like I mean, I would honestly, I could take or leave either of those. That does not bother me in the slightest. That's fair. You know, the resin stuff is awesome. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. Cool. Uh, more punchy punches, punchy punchy puss, little uh, stuff. Stuff, what <laughs> More stuff. So more of the boats, uh, more of whatever these are, the, all these tokens. Yeah, so that's like engineer, you know, good, okay, danger, watches, who's on watch, damage, you know, that kind of thing. You can injured men, I think you put on your board. So like those circles you looked at earlier on the board, that's what these go on to, for who's injured, who's not. Got cigarettes. Oh, nice. Keep them right. I think those are cigarettes. A cigarette. Cigarette. Probably cigarettes. Probably cigarettes. We've got like a hatch there. That'll be to go with the Kickstarter point for who, where you can get up on top. That makes sense. And we got all these. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that whatever is. Whatever they is, it says it's got like letters A to H on the back. Yeah, I have no idea. But they what they is. punch out in a really weird way, like a puzzle. So this is like a jigsaw puzzle, I guess. 
I think you want to bag you when you punch that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. I think you want to like super glue it together and never. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Interesting never how they use that. Uh, yeah, more of pretty much everything. Oh no, yeah, these, these are hazards now. Oh, these are hazards. Yeah. Yeah, water. So that's what the blue must be. That's water. Yeah. yeah and there's the tool. So that's so this is the res. So the resin things you got. These are the tokens. Otherwise. Ah, uh, okay. So to be fair, the long Kickstarter stuff. It's quite bold. The colours are definitely different symbol and different colours. Yeah. But obviously the resin stuff is quite nice. Yeah, it's just, it's just nice to have something to play, to play around with. Um, yeah. And to see it 3D on the board versus the tokens. Yeah, these all look like medical things. We've got scalpels, pills, syringes, yeah. bandages. And that's all the different food, I guess. Yeah, it's the different food. Which you draw off if you flip it over. Same back, yes. It's just food. Way. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so I think you randomly determine stuff like this. So, like, you, ah. someone's sick and you flip it over to see what it is. Ah, okay. Oh, that's the same. But of the blue, maybe different. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I remember some different. of them you definitely flipped. Okay. Sounds interesting. So, and then we have tokens. the, the U boot itself. The U boot. Uh, there, there, there. there we go. So, we're going to have to build this, aren't we? I think so. And see what it is like. Now, I know that you've already built one. I have built one. <laughs> so, this shouldn't take too long. You say that. Um, I like How many your, hours? I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> um, right, so in the rule book, it's got a bit of a rough guide, because um, some parts are quite similar. I'll just get punching bits. Yeah. So, it'll be interesting to see how this builds, because there was one bit at the top of the last one that was a little bit challenging, which is the... I don't know what you call it. It's like the observation deck, which you... Bend the bend again. So it'll be interesting to see if that were how that works in this one. We, we got it work out and it stayed, but it was a bit of a challenge that one. So is this actually a, a requirement of the game, the the three D yes U boat? Because where your men are in different rooms, i.e. different parts of the board, if you want to call it that, is very yeah. important. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, um... I mean, you could have just done it two D. You absolutely could have done it two D. Uh, I, I was just kind of like, with the retail version. Is it going to come with the full three D? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So you, if you got this game, you're getting the three D version. That is the middle bit, which means that bit doesn't go there. Now, to be fair, the artwork is pretty good on this. So if the artwork doesn't match, you've got it wrong. The artwork definitely matches. They've done a really good job of printing. So that one. That one goes there. there. That's quite long. Yeah. That's that. That's how it, does that. it collapse in the end? It it doesn't. So you can take like part. That's what George did. But we, my friend George, um, you will see him in the Blades in the Dark credits. Um, hey George, um, he took it in, in sections, and I, I'm pretty sure he got it back in the box. No, he definitely got it back in the box. Okay. Yeah. That's that's heartening. Yeah. This doesn't seem like it'd be so bad. What is that? What is that? What is this? What? What? What is any of this? This doesn't go. You got it. Yeah. Amazing. Like oh. oh man, yeah, George one just wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, I think you got one thing George didn't want, he did not want to bend those. Okay. Because he was worried, worried it would um, damage it, but you think you've, you've smashed it, yeah, that absolutely. So that's great to see that the one with actually, <laughs> like, it's, it's a bit like, because he was, I and mean, then rightly so, he was saying like, that's got a beveled edge, but the ones didn't. So he's like, well, why have you got one, not the other? But I mean, the fact that that fits is great, because that, that was a bit worrying, like, well, design seems a bit odd with that one. That seems to be okay, quite, quite That nice. seems perfect, yeah. Okay. So this should be the last bit. Look at it, look at the side. And of it. suddenly it all falls apart. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. Nice. It's all good. It's all You now have it. that in a functioning U boot. Yes! U boat, U boot, U boot, we boot. Where do I invade England? Everywhere. Uh. Nice. And we have a U boat. We have a built U boat. I mean, that everyone, did actually go really well. Everyone I've told about the game, I've, I've said that the U-boat's about that long, so... Mm, I'm actually under About a quarter, about a quarter extra. Yeah, that's alright. I wasn't exaggerating. No. <laughs> it is a big... You know, and this is obviously your dudes going to different parts there. Yeah. So, like, you imagine you, you go, like, okay, yeah. I feel like this is the, this is just the thumb, right? We just, move, we just move them around the ship randomly. Yeah. We can, we, this is now a role-playing game. It's not, it's not a board game. So that's what it starts to look like. And obviously these will be, you know, bobbing around. Yeah. And who's where? So there's, there's lights there. Tools there. There's tools there. Yeah, gas in there. And fire. And water. That room's awful. <laughs> this one's a bit dark. That guy, that, this guy is here is not having a good time. He's not having a good day at all. That is the definition of not having a good day. Yeah, he's simultaneously on fire while sinking while being choked with gas. Yep. These guys are okay. He's just in the dark. Was Do there you? a hatch? 
Yeah. You mentioned. He did. He had the three D hatch on the back of us. Not on there. There was, there was a token hatch. It was, yeah. yeah. But it's not on there. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, there's a Euclid. I mean, is that everything in the box? Uh, yeah, that's everything in the box. So after that, it's just there's yeah. there's more um, more polystyrene if you want. Oh, more polystyrene. <laughs> the corners. That goes there. Now it's perfect. <laughs> this is what German U boats look like yeah, this, in the war. Yeah, I mean, this is like a wave. Yeah. This, this is, it's a wave disguise. <laughs> yeah, it's for protection. Now it is finished. Yeah. Amazing. So, yeah. I mean, I would say it's more stuff, but that's a lot. It's two decks of cards, a whole load of resin. Map, 3D U boot. There's like player board after player board, so this is yeah. gonna take a big table. <laughs> yeah, this is a table hog for yeah. sure, for show. Because you've got that map, that goes in the map on the map. Yeah. The lengthways in the map, so the full length of the map. Then you've got the player boards that will go either side of that. Yeah. And then all the tokens. All of the tokens. You need a decent sized table for this game. Yep. But it's Well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go out and buy a table. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> And then once I bought the table, we can reach the time to play it. And the only thing you need after this is just the app, and you're good to go. And people who... I would Which, recommend that people watch the videos um, and got familiar, at least, with their roles. So, like, sort of come around, tell them their roles beforehand, or have a chat, you know, get yourself, you know, on a, on a group chat and start talking. And just, just so that people aren't sitting here not knowing what to do. Yeah. Because it is a real-time game, and the players are reliant on each other, you know... I've been in those games where you're the player and you don't know what's going on and player will rely on you and it's it's just this hard for that it's player. All of it, it's all about communication. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as of filming this, uh, I do believe the Android app is out but the iOS app is not. Uh, but that might have changed by the time we upload it. Mm. So yeah, that's Uber, guys. I mean, and that is Uber. There's a lot in that box. There's I mean, a lot. This is amazing. Yeah. That is a hell of a player board. Yeah. Like, that is so cool. That is so cool. It feels a little bit fragile, but I think it, I think yeah, like that's say, because this has just come out. If you <laughs> had the space to leave it out, I would glue personally. I'd get some uh, cardboard glue. I would glue this. To, I would glue it together. It does feel like it does feel like it's going to be a faff putting it together every time. Yeah. Oh. Like if you want to try and put that away now, I mean that comes off right. Yeah. So that's one piece, and then you'd have to break this into the three sections. Yeah, I guess you could, yeah. It's you not too bad. Oh yeah, not too bad. You could, yeah. So you got like your three sections you can break it into, which if it all if it all fits in the box, I'd probably just glue the sections individually together. Yeah, and then, then just glue the three of them together. Because this this is annoying me the fact that this is not staying in. Like so, there's one section in the box now. Yeah. You know, put them up. Oh no! There was so we hit an iceberg. Yeah. yeah. We hit a mountberg. So a map. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, That's another section, but that, that is not staying whatsoever. Right, so yeah. You got the idea. Well, hopefully, guys, I mean, I mean that's, that's everything in the box. I mean, that's quite a nice touch, but you've got Like, again, very atmospheric of what, you know, it was like for it these is. guys to give you a tiny, tiny taste of what it was like. I absolutely cannot fault presentation. Yeah. <laughs> apart from, apart from mini quality and a little bit in a few places. You see, again, I don't want. I mean, I don't want to just sound like you know, wax and about the game because I really enjoy it. Actually, did I'm not enough. And I only play the demo, but yeah. the art minis. They're not, no. they're not meant to be. They are tokens that are plastic. Someone's going to say, oh, get a load of minis. That's not the case. I don't know what they advertised on Kickstarter. If they if they say like oh, 20 minis, that's not right because they are not minis. They are plastic board game tokens. In the same way that you get cubes, they are tokens. Yeah. But yeah, man. Um, okay. If you want else to come back, it's everything, isn't it? I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, you know, if there's anything you would like us to do in the future, if we're going to do different or you know more close-ups, let us know in the comments below. Do comment, let us know what you like, what you dislike, so we can improve and do better, do more of these. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Starcade Quest coming, which I am super excited for as well. I do. That's not until August. August. It's a good so few it's, months it's a good, away. It's a good way away. But um, I'm, I'm so excited as well. There's quite a few around before then. Oh, is but, there? Uh, oh, well, then you'll see more in the meantime. Awesome. Right, guys. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and we will catch you soon for more Guild of Gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think, and catch you next time. Bye.